Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we'll learn how to make an animated 2D walk cycle. Let's do this. In object mode, add a plane, scale it up. Add another plane. Select the camera, hit zero to enter active camera view. I have walk navigation keybound to control shift F. Then just kind of move around in 3D space until you have the camera roughly where you want it. Hit N to open up the item property panel and do any further adjustments to your camera's position. Select our smaller plane, rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Grab our plane with G, drag it up on the Z axis. Head into the shader editor, create a new material, add an image texture node, and open up the first frame of your run cycle. You can paint these in Blender or externally. Make sure you use a transparent background, it'll make it easier. You can create clear backgrounds in Blender by dragging this alpha channel down. Connect the color and alpha channels to the shader node. And you can see in render view what it looks like so far. Select this image node and duplicate it with Shift D. Open up frame two, add a mix node, connect the color outputs up like so. Duplicate the mix node and connect the alpha channels up. Now connect the mix nodes to the shader. Duplicate an image node, open up your third frame, Duplicate and open up the fourth frame, which I'm using the second frame again as my fourth. Connect the third frame up with mix nodes, and again connect up the fourth frame with mix nodes. I'm going to collapse the image textures to make them smaller. Add a value node and a math node. Connect the value output to the top value input on the math node. Change the bottom value to a small number. Something like 0.001 should work. Duplicate the math node and change it to the greater than operation. Duplicate it two more times. I watched the Paper Mario trailer in slow mode to count how many frames were in between each image change. The trailer was 30 FPS and Mario's walk cycle turned out to be 4242. 2, 4, 2. It looked fine in game, but it's too fast to properly appreciate, so I cut it in half and found 8484 4, 8, 4 looked good to me. This is where I got the values of, I just screamed this again, what is wrong with me? It's 8, 12, and 20 for the greater than threshold. If you want your animation to be true to the game, just cut these values in half. Connect the value output of the add node to all the value inputs of these greater than nodes. Now connect each greater than to the mix sliders of the two nodes below it. Let's go into render view and scroll the value node a bit, and you can see how it controls our walk cycle. Even though I still want this add node, I'm going to change it into a modulo node rather than have to reconnect everything and set the bottom value to 24. If you're not familiar with the modulo operation, it's quite useful. And it's not as scary as it sounds. It's just the remainder after a division operation has taken place. So turn any set of numbers into a repeating sequence of numbers, the length of which is designated by the modulo number. Let's copy this modulo node and turn it back into our add node. Select all of these nodes and duplicate them with Shift D. Now reselect all these nodes and hit Ctrl G to turn them into a node group. Connect the value node to this add node and add a mix shader. Connect the second principled shader to the mix node. Select these nodes and make a group. Tab out. Name these node groups something like walk down and walk up. Select the bottom node group and tab into it. Expand these image nodes. Change the images to your corresponding walking up or away images. And now, this mix node will control what direction Mario faces. I'm going to copy this mix shader and create a node group out of it. Delete the mix shader, because we don't need it. Connect the factor to the bottom empty circle. Go into the node tab over here and delete all the shader inputs and outputs. Add a math node, change it to round. Now it's either 0 or 1 and nothing in between. Open up a couple tabs down here, switch one to the timeline, and one to the dope sheet. Switch into the action editor. The nice thing about our material setup is you only need two keyframes to animate his run cycle, no matter how many frames. Go to frame 0 and set the value node to 0. Hit I while hovering over it to add a keyframe. Go to some frame later on, I used frame 120. Change your value node to the same values as whatever frame you chose and hit I on it again to add a keyframe. Now, if you hit play, Mario loops through the animation, but the interpolation is wrong. So click the input node, and in the timeline, make sure both keyframes are selected. 
Hovering over the timeline, hit T, select Linear Interpolation. Now hit play, and it's beautiful. Mario bounces a little with each step, so let's do that now. Find the first position where his feet are in a resting pose. Drag the plane on the Z axis so his feet are roughly flat with the ground. Open up the side tab with N, go into Transform Properties tab. Right click on the Z location, hit Insert Single Keyframe. Scrub through to where his feet change pose, go back one frame and insert a single keyframe on the Z axis again. Find the next time his feet hit the ground and do it again. Select and duplicate these Z location keyframes and position them to line up with his steps again. Somewhere in the middle, drag Mario up slightly and single keyframe on Z. Select these four keyframes and duplicate them with Shift D, place them at the beginning. And continue doing that through the entire walk animation, making sure you place them in the right spot as you go. And it's looking pretty good from both sides. I'm going to give him a starting point off screen over here and single keyframe the X and Y locations. Find a frame in the middle where he is passing slash standing pose and position him somewhere. Add X and Y keyframes. Keyframe the direction nodes. We want him running away for the first half. Switch the action editor to the dope sheet and expand the material subcategory. Here you can see the keyframes you set on your material nodes. Set the slider to one and replace the other keyframe. Go to the next scene frame and add a keyframe to this node with a setting of zero. I'm going to have Mario run back towards the camera now and keyframe it. You can leave the X and Y location interpolation as is if you like it. But if not, you can select all the X and Y keyframes, hit T and select linear interpolation. Now he moves at a consistent speed without any easing in and out of movements. I'm not sure how Mario functions in-game, but I like the look of linear interpolation for this scene. And that's pretty much it. You can expand greatly upon this and add in as many actions as you want. I hope this helps you on your Blender adventure. Make some cool stuff, get famous, and then tell everyone about me. Alright, love you, bye! Connect the factor to the bottom, I almost just fell over when I was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I'm going down.